this achieved the Hyper Sapien, and in this video, I'm going to have a look at Auric Mega Boss. So here we have the Warhammer Age of Sigma Iron Jaws Auric Mega Boss. Also, a lot of times he's known as Mega Boss on foot. Obviously, the price is covering a bit of him or his name. But yeah, we'll bust this open and we'll have a look. You've got your worn in there, basically small parts. But because he's a mega boss, it's not too small. But obviously you want to keep it away from your little kitties. Your little snots and grots. You know how those little snotlings are. I like to get into everything. But this is going to need a knife to open, so bust this out and we'll be back. So we removed the big beast himself from his blister pack. So as you can see, we have a Auric Mega Boss. Now I've got all the sprue here and the base. But as always, we'll have a quick look through this booklet. So step one, you get piece number two got piece number one over here then you get the third piece and the fourth piece it's basically a little tiny bit of armor that just goes into here so I've built one of these before there's no issues there it just make sure you obviously don't drop it in just a bit of glue around and just place it against it nicely and no issues there now these two bits go together, as you can see here, the yellow bit is where you would put the glue. And then they slide together. Now you've got that piece, which is one, the first step you did. And then step two is, you get piece five and you attach the back of, it's basically his arms and his back, to his butt area. And just, yeah, against his torso there. Or his torso against his waist. And that's what he is assembled so far. So you get six. Well, this is the third step here. You get six. You put his 13, which is his face. Basically his tongue is attached. All these new Auric or newer Orc kits. They seem to have the neck, the head goes on, and you always get the tongue or the inside of the mouth on the neck there. So, yeah, sometimes if you want, you can keep it off if you want to paint um, the tongue a bit easier. You know, if you want to be a bit more speedy, you can just put it on and try your best to get inside there. But whatever you're doing, if you want to be speedy or you want to take your time and be a golden demon artist, it's up to you. So now we've got all these parts, that's obviously this step here. You can put a armor plate on his arm here. So I believe they call that a ripper claw in Iron Jaws. It's basically a hand that has no weapon, but it has the ripper claw or the bit of armor that he can stab and hack stuff with. Then you get this big skull, that's a part of his back and as you can see it clips on here, all around here. Then it's got this part, it's one sits together. So what that is, is piece 8, that's when it's complete, so you get piece 8, you want to line it up with this side of the skull to that side of the skull, it's got this little groove, or it's got this little clip that comes out, that sort of goes into here, this side, which has obviously an indentation for the little slot part to slide into, and then yeah, you, this whole chest part is uncovered here so it's got a gap as you can probably tell here so you, as you pull this in we'll cover the rest of his chest and then you'll get that part 
and then to finish it off put 12 which is his hand on that side and then this is pretty much him together besides a few little bits so you get a blood letter skull it goes here it's basically part of his shoulder pad you get a tooth and skull necklace that just clips um, just under his jaw but it goes from side to side and then part 10 you get a really really awesome chopper a big big chopper for a fit for a Oroch mega boss now you can scan QR for the war scroll if you don't have the army book the battle tome as you can see that's what it looks like when it's got those parts on this kind of goes to the side a bit like it's in motion if anyone wants any of that like the website and whatnot have a quick look at the kit hey just so you can see how detailed and awesome this kit really is now obviously i've got subscribers from mainly orc 40k hopefully i've got some people interested in aos as well i know there's a couple of subscribers at least that i've seen or know that are interested in oryx but this kit i've seen so many times people convert this into a 40k war boss so you know if you i'm sure people that love the green skins will appreciate this review anyway but yeah you could always pick up one and create it into all sorts of stuff really so he's probably about the same size as the old gas skull so before this prophecy of the wolf gas skull came out he's probably about that size and height but yeah i really like this sculpt and the armor but yeah enough chit chat let's have a look hey so we'll start with the face now the face is really good it is a little bit plain for my liking though so I really like the detail, the expression and all that stuff. I just personally would have preferred maybe a few more earrings, maybe some scarring or whatnot. But yeah, I do like the face, but on my last one I built, I actually changed the face to another. It was an actual orc knob from 40k face that had a lot more scarring. So I changed it to that old. I'll chuck him on screen after or show you guys after but yeah it's a really awesome sculpt how detailed that is and how smooth and nice it is but just for the big boss he looks similar to some of the brutes orc brutes or auric brutes which are obviously you got ard boys then you got brutes and then you got the mega boss so they kind of climb up in rank and size so depending on how much fighting and war they've been in, obviously orcs grow and get stronger, so you upgrade. But the brutes are smaller in size, even their heads are smaller. But my point is that his facial expression or his wear and tear is similar to a brute, some of the brutes. So yeah, still awesome though. You've got your hand. Unfortunately, it's got a nice mold line in between the fingertips there it can be a bit of a tricky one to clean up that's that little armor piece that goes into his what well, you can see here slots in there no issue really there nice armor piece i really love that bit of chain mail coming through under his shoulder pads all this little teeth sort of emblems the big jaw now we look in the back you know, this is the piece that has basically the hole there so obviously the other side has this raised area that slides into there quite easily and nice so you got that i believe it's ripper claw so you got his leg you got his necklace there so you got his back which is really nice as well Nice bit of detail on the muscles. And we go into this side. 
So that's the other side of his armour with the big skull. So as you can see, that little part there is what slides into I showed you before. The other foot or leg. Got your nice little skull with some metal plating added to it. So that's the crutch piece, that's the neck. As you can kind of see, hopefully, that's the tongue there, so the neck. See that little bit at the end is his actual tongue. See when you put the face on, obviously he has a gap here. I wonder if I can do it at all, but yeah, when you put it there, you basically see the tongue coming through a bit. And the last piece is this really big, big chopper, which is awesome. It's just an awesome chopper, that is. And as I said, this guy comes in handy for quite a lot of stuff. I mean, even if you maybe collect, say, I don't know, ogres or something, you could probably turn him into one of them by changing his face. You could, as I say, make him a 40k orc. You can do quite a bit with this kid, actually. So you could add bits from other kits and <laughs> make something different. Now I'll show you the one that I've been working on now. Is a, I've had this for a while and I'm one of those people that jump from project to project a bit too much. But I thought I'd show you him built. Now the difference is I put the, it's a gore grunter, the pigs from Iron Jaws. I put a metal faceplate around the skull. I just thought it was a little bit more like Savage Oryx instead of Iron Jaws so giving a plate there just to sort of tie it in a little bit more even though I do love that skull. I was going to remove the skull but but when I saw the Gore Grunter kit this goes on sort of the boss Gore Grunter on his pig I just thought that'd be awesome to go there I added this, it was a shoulder pad from a knob kit I believe, and yeah, added it to make it a little bit more aggressive looking. Obviously I need to paint certain parts of him, obviously I need to paint him more. One thing he does, he has this bit of a stone on his foot which you could cut off, or I'm just going to put some texture or whatever around it when it's on the base and just cover it up a bit so i put another shoulder pad or whatever on his arm here just wanted to, to be a bit more brutal a bit more have a bit more spikes and stuff happening so as i was saying before the face to me just wasn't quite aggressive enough as a war boss so i put this knob pad on there that has quite a bit of scar and I just thought that worked quite well. Now, I did have to do a bit of work by removing some of the neck, like that tongue part that I've showed. Because obviously the head, the auric head, slides over it, so I had to just make a little adjustment just so this head fits it there. So, and with these I've gone for a bright scheme. So I'm trying this out. I'm most likely going to start doing some tutorials for skin tones for orcs and oryx. So this will be one that I'll show you guys how I do it. Quite easy. But yeah, that's the oryx mega boss when he's complete. And yeah, I also put this Seraphon lizard man shield on there. Just um, obviously you, you get that blood letter piece that goes on his shoulder I just thought to bulk him up a bit and also kind of to match this side a little bit more right. has no big shield or skull or anything for this side so I don't know I just saw it once and have some seraphon and just they're depicted in the battle tome to fight quite a bit is seraphon and oryx which are orcs and lizard men 
for the people that more know fantasy or play 40k and don't really know much about AOS so they're depicted to fight quite a bit at least in the artwork so yeah just thought that was like a little nod to that killed him and made a trophy out of his weapon or shield so yeah so that's the Iron Jaws Oruk Mega Boss. Now, as always, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And this was G the Hiver Sapien. I'll catch you next time. Whoa. Whoa.